St. Matthias's Church. St. Matthias's is one of eight surviving churches of its kind in Ireland which were manufactured by Harland and Wolfe, the Belfast shipyard responsible for Titanic. Its resemblance to a church from the old American West is no accident, as many were shipped out to the United States in the 19th century to be used as churches in frontier towns. This unusual single-storey building on the side of the Glen Road was built in 1892 as an extension of the Church of Ireland's St Luke's Mission, originally serving an army garrison in nearby Andersonstown. However, a decline in the congregation meant that the church was never replaced with a permanent building. It was given to the Roman Catholic Diocese about 1970, after it had become redundant as a Protestant place of worship. Eventually, a new church was built alongside, and it lay disused for over two years. Known locally as the Tin Church, it was one of West Belfast's best-known landmarks, and a successful public campaign to save it was launched when it came under the threat of demolition. The old church's attraction was its simplicity. The facade is in white painted corrugated iron with a red brick base and the main roof is also covered in brown coloured corrugated iron. On the ridge there is a sheet metal bell cut with a spire and cross finial. The bell remains silent. The windows add to the aesthetic appearance and the piers, which were probably added to support the structure, have served their purpose well. It was given the protection of listed status in 2001.